Hey guys, so I don't often go out and buy new tools, so I figured I'd just kind of document what I did when I went out and bought this new mall today. They call it a rapid mall. This is from Yardworks. And it's a four and a half pound, so that'll be two pounds lighter than what I've currently got. I've not had any sort of axes or mauls from them before, so we'll just kind of see how this works. It says it's drop forged, heat treated carbon steel head, and it's got a 30.7 inch double injected fiberglass handle and it does come with a 10 year warranty my main reasons for getting this really the main reason was that i like this handle length it's just a little clunky and awkward when you have too long of a handle i don't enjoy using the fiberglass handles as much just because you know a wooden handle i can i could toss it in a fire when i'm done with it you know and i prefer that rather than just throwing it in the trash but this should hold up for quite a while um, it was the only option there. They didn't have a wooden version. It's also a relatively thin handle. Not overly thin, but definitely not overly thick. There's good rubber grips. You nestle your fingers down in there in the bottom. And just when I took a few practice swings with it, I really felt that I could uh, have good control over that length. Get it where I want it to go. I don't have a ton of experience in different types of mall heads. I just figured I uh, would try this one out, see how well it worked. Uh, it came actually relatively sharp here. I obviously will probably be sharpening it up not too long from now. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. But I think it'll do the job for today's purposes and just seeing how good it is out of the factory be good. Just mostly wanted to make sure I could uh, read this label before I put it into too much use today. I put away plenty of wood so if it can get through you know, a good four to five cords a year of use then uh, and makes it that 10 years, then uh, they definitely uh, deserve that 30 bucks. So another reason that I wanted to get a lighter weight mall head, because I want to see how well it would do for me in the beginning of the season, especially uh, when I get into cutting things. Since we've had some cooler mornings now, it's kind of getting into that time I like to get in that rhythm of just getting uh, 30 minutes to an hour of chopping in in the morning. So when I hit it like that, I get kind of a bounce effect. It's just kind of coming back out, partly I think due to the wood, but also the design of that head. All right, after that much use, you can see the amount of damage here that it's got. Pretty minor, but it's already, you know, occurred. I really like the handle length. That's that's definitely an aspect that I'm in favor of on this. It feels really comfortable. That lighter weight makes it a lot easier to just keep going. I think that's a benefit too of the smaller size. It's going to be more accessible to some more people. You know, not everyone's six and a half foot tall and uh, Paul Bunyan. So getting everyone out there with a giant handle, a huge thick handle made for, you know, bare hands. That's it's not going to work for most people. So I think this would be a great one if you don't have a mall and you're not taking down giant trees. This might work for you. I don't really know how much I favor this design. Overall having the, the geometry of the spot here in the middle being wider than the ends. I don't know that that's really very helpful. I think it was just a cheap way to get a wider width uh, further in uh, without having it go across the entire uh, piece of metal here. Hitting it just a few times in the back, I see some of that uh, coming off just a little bit, but I don't see any sort of bulging or deformation yet. Uh, we'll see how that lasts over time, but it is good they've got these chamfers along the edge, and that'll help uh, divide that weight out for us. Otherwise, I'd say it's a good medium duty maul where you know a small axe will split you your small rounds just fine, but I think this would be good for some of those that are. Just a little bit larger. I think it's going to last, hold up for a while. I don't know about 10 years, uh, maybe a couple seasons, but you know, we'll, we'll see what it does and I'm going to keep that receipt. Let me know if you've tried this one, if you have had better luck with another. Uh, happy splitting.